Uh, with uh, China's real estate woes set to persist, UK-based lender Standard Chartered is taking precautions, especially on the at-risk portion of its portfolio. But it remains optimistic in its outlook on China. I spoke with Bill Winter, CEO of Standard Chartered, in a CNA exclusive interview. So we set out the objective two years ago of doubling our profit in China in three years, and we just about did it in two. So we made $1.4 billion of profit in China last year. And I say the outlook is quite bright. Now, the growth has come very substantially in the offshore market. China is internationalizing the RMB. The RMB is now used in, in over 30% of all Chinese trade. It's the currency of settlement in 30% of Chinese trade. China, of course, is the biggest trading country in the world. Uh, it's... Uh, it's used in almost 10% of global trade. All right, so the RMB is internationalizing. We are the leading bank by some measure in the, all aspects of the internationalization of the RMB. You're also trimming your exposure to China's real estate sector and, and, and with what's happened um, with Bohai, Bohai Bank taking yep. Yep. a hit, uh, what is your outlook on further write-downs yep. um, um, on, on in, either in your banking sector expo uh, is exposures to, to China yep. uh, as well as you know what's happening in the real estate uh, sector given that that doesn't look like it's a problem that's going to go away anytime no, soon? No, the real estate problem is not one that's going to go away anytime soon. We've taken very substantial provisions uh, on the, the at-risk portion of our real estate portfolio in China. So we haven't reduced our exposure, we've just provided for it. Uh, of course, we're not making new loans either, and, and that's the problem, is no one is making new loans, uh, unless they're supported by, by state programs and, and policies, which is beginning to help. Uh, so has the Chinese real estate market stabilized? In some markets, it, it may have stabilized, but maybe with a, with a downward bias, it definitely hasn't begun to recover. Sales volumes are still very, very low. The confidence is extremely low. Uh, so that's a drag. It's a big drag on the Chinese economy. It's certainly a big drag on the banking system. Uh, the rest of the economy, certainly the, the new economy sectors in China are doing quite well. And I think we have to bring a note of, of caution around overcapacity that's building up, especially if it's met with protectionism from the big markets in, in the West or in Japan and Korea, uh, which is looking quite likely. So I think we'll have a tense few years where uh, you know, China has established an extremely vibrant new economy segment, uh, which may meet resistance internationally. At the same time as they've got an extremely uh, negative sentiment old economy uh, chunk of their of their uh, underlying economic activity, which is unlikely to recover quickly. So I think China's got a, a few tough years, but but structurally in extremely good shape.